we're right at the end of storm debbie here it's it's, it's been so it's the following day but we've still got the storm surge coming in and uh absolutely fascinating but uh you know you have to be sensible this is always and i do mean always a rogue wave waiting so here's one now we we'll stack up one on top of the other this one's going to come a long way in look at that you're walking on the beach there you weren't paying attention yeah, it's not a place to turn your back on the sea um, i've seen seals in all sorts this morning it's absolutely wonderful but yes always get out you know i keep saying it but just go out and enjoy it. enjoy your walk and take your camera you're almost guaranteed to come away with some good pictures you know whether the weather's you know whether it's a sunny day it doesn't really matter just do it it's, i don't know i get so enthusiastic about it i maybe don't look it because i'm a bit of a miserable old thing but you know uh yeah just go out have fun take your camera have a great time just like this motley crew here it's uh these are my pals just out for a walk my wife just in front there it's uh, absolutely amazing yeah I love this sort of stuff yeah you can't help but just stand and stare So just while walking along, spotted this boat from the bridge along there, there's a footpath here. So I don't think it's disturbing anything, but what a fantastic sight that is. I didn't even know this existed. Uh, this is one shot I'm gonna have to come back to at some stage if I get a chance. Uh, if we get some nice light, it'll be a beautiful shot. But yeah, fascinating. Great exploring places like this. So anyway, I'm going to grab a few more shots before the uh, rain closes in totally. Yeah, what I really like about this shot, the boat obviously there, we've got this moody sky above and then this beautiful boat here. And there's lots of places you can stand there and get a shot the other side. Yeah, amazing. If you got a still day as well with all that water still, it would be incredible. Yeah, very lucky to spot this. I seem to spend a lot of my life at the moment working in the rain. I've, I've got a couple of good shots and I think I've got good enough shots. Um, but I'm going to wait till this rain eases off a little bit and then have a couple more tries. But it's absolutely teeming it down again. Absolutely, I'm just hiding behind a little gauze bush here. I don't think it's making any difference, but yeah. But look at that! Wow, what a beautiful coastline this is. Yeah, very, very photogenic. Just about every single bay that you come into along here, you find a nice, a nice place to get some shots. Doesn't look like this rain's gonna ease off for a while. Yeah, so it's turned into a little bit of a photo walk. This we walked all the way up to St. Cyrus and then back down the coast along the beach. I think mean, here the sea is absolutely roaring in now. It's you know, can't be so far off high tide, and maybe it's an hour or so. It's only just the other side of these dunes. And you can see how far it comes in here. Fascinating. 
if this rain stops the boat's over there don't you can see it if this rain stops I will go back over there I need to be able with a tripod as well I think the shots I've got are all sort of hand held at four five hundred ISO maybe a bit more so I've just as you saw this earlier today I took some shots and uh, I didn't have my tripod so it was all handheld. it was pouring down with rain the rain stopped uh, so I went back and I grabbed a tripod and uh, I came back it just before dark now I was hoping that we might get some sunset light but there's absolutely no chance at all um, so I'm back at this this boat here this wreck and the general idea is to get a slightly higher shot of the boat in um, ideally you would shoot down the boat that way I suppose to get um, to get it more leading into the view but it, it, it's good here um, what I'm going to do is take a series of shots it isn't going to be time to film it but as you can see how the composition changes you just move around a little bit and that's a that's a lovely composition there um, and then as we go around this way where I'm shooting at the moment then the composition changes again and it's a bit more flat so it, it leads your eye in less to the image so like I say I'm, I'm going to take a series of shots no time to film it but hopefully you will you will see the result in a second walking up the reserve path here I've been chatting to the <laughs> reserve managers or, or one of the reserve managers and another member of staff staff and uh, they were telling me when I mentioned about all the damage here and they were telling me that in front of here well you just see this here like it is the sea there was a bird hide and something like 200 meters worth of land has just disappeared it was in a storm or about the second storm of this season and it's just took out all this land it's gone just disappeared look at that the power of nature but the storm you can see the surge that's coming in I mean I'm not going to hang around here for so long but you can see how bad it is yeah so there you go amazing coastline this absolutely amazing potentially Possibly a little bit dangerous in the sense we've got a fair storm surge still. It's coming in here, I'll just show you. It's not uh, a place to be too silly. But yeah, look at that. You can see where it's took away the dunes over there. Yeah. Bad weather. Always bad weather. It's absolutely brilliant weather for photography. You can't, you know, never ever wait for good weather. Never wait for perfect light, never. Because if you do that, you just will not get the shots. Just go out whenever, put your camera in your bag, just do it, anything, but make sure you've got a camera with you. Wow. And it makes you buzz, you know? Well, the rain's easing up now as well. Yeah, weather like this, it just it makes you buzz. It really does. It's, well, it makes me buzz anyway. I just can't get enough of it. It's 
spent my whole life outdoors and I just the more time I spend out the more time I want to spend outside wow well this is the end of this video um, it's been an amazing uh, visit here to this this area around St Cyrus um, absolutely amazing location and what a coastline no absolutely it's so wild and it, it has that wonderful wonderful wild feel to it it really does of course with being at the tail end of a storm anyway it does feel pretty amazing but at the same time when you look and see the destruction here and how much land has been lost um, when I was when I said before I'm chatting to the reserve staff and uh, they've just lost so much land it's just gone all this just swept away and there's a lot missing on the other side and not just by the sea as I said but by the fact that the river when it came down it just spread out and it just took the bird hides and all the landscape away just like that it's uh, it's scary stuff uh, yeah amazing and if you look again I don't suppose you can see it on the, with this GoPro but just over there there is the staging for the hide it's been swept in land uh, but the main hide itself has just disappeared yeah it's getting dark now as well so I'm going to head back it's uh, been a great experience so anyway, thanks for watching, until the next time.